Hi guys, welcome to Tech Tech Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to sell an online course. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily, so don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. Now today's video, the platform that we will be demonstrating and showing you the process on how to sell an online course is this platform called Udemy. Now there's other platforms out there that you could work with and start selling your online course, but to me personally, I would suggest to you to use Udemy because of all the benefits and all the help that you will be able to get when you're building your own courses for you to sell in Udemy. Now, if you don't know, Udemy is a platform where you could find different types of courses and of course, buy the courses and learn from them. And you will be able to view this as a student and also as an instructor. Now, to be able to sell an online course in Udemy, you're of course going to log into your account. After you log into account, you will have this option instructor over here on the top. This is the option that you're going to look for and simply click on this and you will be redirected to another page where Udemy will recognize you as an instructor. Now you might uh, go through some signups or verification to be an instructor, but after that, you will be able to access what we're seeing right now. Now in this instructor mode, you will be able to check out all the different courses that you have made in the past. As you can see, I have some drafts over here. You will be able to edit and manage the courses that you have created already. But once your course has been uploaded and published, you will no longer be able to delete it and take it away from the student that bought your course. The reason is because Udemy promises a lifetime guarantee or a lifetime access on that specific course. So once your course is uploaded and someone buys it, you won't be able to remove it from your list anymore. But right now, this is just a draft. So I am able to remove and edit the specific courses. Now, there's a lot of tools under the instructors you can see here on the left side. You have some for communications. Uh, this will be for messages, assignment, and announcement. This is something from Udemy or from your students. You also have your performance over here. You will be able to see the performance of yourself, like how much revenue you have earned, how much enrollees, and your instructor rating. Aside from that, there's also tools that you can utilize. You have your test videos, marketplace insights, and bulk coupon creations over here, which are very useful tools. Now let's get right into creating our online course. And this is how you do it on Udemy. Now, of course, before you will be able to sell a specific course, you're going to have to create the online course. So simply click on create new course over here on the right side. And after that, you will begin the process of creating your course. Now, there is a first step four or four steps that you will need to get through. You have to find out what type of course you're making. Of course, we are going to be creating an online course. So you're going to have to select the first option, which is create a rich learning experience with the help of video lectures, quizzes, coding exercise, and etc. So simply select this and simply click on continue over here on the bottom left. After that, as you can see, you're going to have to create a working title. Now, right now, I don't have a working title or we don't have a title right now. So let's say online course for the meantime. You will be able to change it later on so you don't have to worry about it right now. So simply click on continue once again. And then you're going to have to select the category that is related to your course or the specific category of your course. So when you select this, you will see all of these options over here. You have from development to teaching and academics. Now, like with the name earlier, if you don't know or you're not sure of which category your online course is yet, you can simply click on I don't know yet and simply click on continue. And over here, as you can see, it will ask you how much time can you spend creating your course per week? Now, there is no wrong answer. Udemy will help you achieve your goals even if you don't have much time. So they just want to know the amount of time you will be available working on your course or working with Udemy. So simply select the applicable option that for you over here. So let's say I haven't decided if I have time yet. So 
After that, simply click on Create Course over here on the bottom right. And there we go. Now, the next process or the next step is the creation of our course. Over here on the left side, as you can see, we have some sort of a checklist or checklist of our course. You have your plan your course, you have your create your content, and then publish your course. And under the publisher's course, this is where you will be able to manage the pricing, everything related to selling your course. So over here on the top, let's check out the plan your course first. On the plan your course, you will have to put in what will the students learn in your course. Of course, this depends on the type of course you are creating. Of course, if it's IT related or computer science related, the results will, of course, be or should be related to something a computer science student or professional will be able to achieve by doing your course. So over here, so let's say the user will be able to learn Java, how to apply Java to real life problems, analyze and interpret data, and the user will be able to learn the skills to code in Java. Of course, you must do this as neatly as possible, use better words, and just using this words that I am having right now as a sample, and they're not really that great, but this is just a sample. So the next one is what are the requirements or prerequisites for taking your course? If you want someone to have a certain knowledge before they access your course, you should put it over here. For example, must already know basic Java or C++ program, something like that. It's basically a requirement or something that a uh, student must have before they should take the exam or the Udemy course. And who is this course for? Of course, simply put in the intended learners. Right now, we are going with a coding. So what we're going to put is aspiring coders, something like that. And after that, simply click on save over here on the top right. And you will be able to proceed to the next step, such as the course structure. In the course structure, it's just some tips and instructions on what you should do, such as take down to the details of each lecture, including your skills, the things that they will teach and estimated video like as you can see here and you will be able to access a teaching center as you can see here a library of resources it will contain tips and guides to structuring a course students will love now this is why i like you to meet it will provide you with additional resources for you to be able to improve on the online course that you will be creating there's also the setup and test video over here. Basically, upload a sample of you teaching your online course and you will be able to get personalized advice on your audio and video from experts. And they will help you fix your issues and attain or achieve a very quality or high quality online course videos for your course. And there's also the film and edit over here where you will be able to, of course, film and edit your content. You will be able to join a community over here which will allow you to get in touch with production or Udemy instructors and other Udemy instructors and talk together on what you should do, ask them tips and tricks from them, basically communicate to each other which is very nice. It's nice to have a community to talk to and you also have your curriculum over here. Now this is where you're going to build your online course. Uh, so as you can see here, you have your lecture one. Let's say you have a good title already, Introduction to Java, let's say. There we go, save lecture. Now you're simply going to click on Add Content and then you can simply upload a video, a video and slide mashup or an article over here. Now each type is very unique, so whichever is applicable to you, simply select that. And then you can add some regular icon, you can have quizzes, coding exercises or assignments over here. And after this, after you created your course, of course, you can now go to your course landing page, also play around with the landing page, like the title, the subtitle, the description, basic info. Uh, you can select the level like beginner or intermediate, as you can see here, that category, it's IT and software, that who, what is prior primarily taught in your course. You could put in Java, there we go. Let's simply upload a course image over here. Uh, let's select Java over here, Java, there we go. Then upload your course image, promotional video, and many more. And after that, you can go over here on the pricing. Uh, let's save this progress for now. Save over here. And 
there are some issues so we won't be able to save this but let's go to the pricing and over here on the pricing you will be able to select the specific uh price over here or the currency you have usb as the default and you have the option to have free or uh 1999 or depending on the tier that you are right now you will be able to sell them and for the tier uh, you can check out the price tier matrix over here to learn more about how the tier would work as you can see here but anyway you could select the price you would like to have then simply click on save and as you can see here also if you intend to offer your courses for free the length of the video must contain less than two hours and after completing every detail after completing all of this information you can simply click on submit for review and Udemy will review your course give some suggestions if you need them but after that it will then be posted in Udemy and then you will be able to sell your online course. And that's basically it. That is how you will be able to sell your online course in Udemy. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.